All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. Today, it's more Factorio. It's all about oil, and I'm not talking about hair either. I'm gonna check audio. That was not even a word. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. I am going to go over here and check audio. Audio seems to be working fine. 
All right, let's uh, switch over here. Do, 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 do. You know what? Oh, uh, there we go. I didn't, I, for some reason, I didn't see the factorial icon. What? No, 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 no. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, this, that, that. There we go. All right, so let's make sure all of our mods are up to snuff. There's no updates. We're on part three. So let's get a save in here. Part three. Excellent. All right. So last time we went out and made sure we had some expansion room. We do. We got a couple of guys up here. They're surrounded in four. So I got to wait until my weapons get a little bit better. Um, for some reason, my car is way up there. Oh, there's something that could be pulled off. All right. Let's do a little little cleansing here. So we've added, we're making green circuits. We have a little bit of, oh, uh, okay, hang on. We got a train that's bringing stone because we ran out of stone. And I noticed up here, we got these, which we don't need because it's tied in right there. Don't need that, but I'm not going to worry about that. So, um, wow. So if, if I pull this, this all loses power because, all right, so we need to actually just bring a line straight down. So where I'm at, let's do this. Wait a minute. So, oh, there's the problem. If I just run from here and connect, then we can get rid of all this well, this, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so let's grab some of that, go, boom. There we go. Now I'll come over here and do a little cleanup. Automagically. I, I really enjoy the mod of uh, deconstruct. Really helps you keep things clean. Do I need that one? Do not. Now, if we we need this to get power. Actually, so we can get rid of that, leave that, but get rid of all of. All right, hang on. Sweet. going to do just a little bit of cleanup here. I mean, this is all I had to work with when I started this operation, so. All right, so this is getting power from there, so we're going to leave that alone. We're just going to leave all that alone. That's connected there. All right, sweet. That's nice. All right, so let's turn off the pollution and we have oil here. And oil way down here, 3,361 versus 977. All right, so you know, unfortunately, oh, another one there. So if we do, oh, that's surrounded by water and inside forest. Oh, that's a lot of, you know. Um, So if we do this, it's going to add to our current pollution up here, which is manageable. But if we do this, then we have to go out and do some more recon. Do I not have any more oil anywhere? Oh, there's this. Yeah. 
All right. So, um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to encompass. We have a train track here. So let's go out and create. All right. So we're going to need the infrastructure. So start building some stuff. Um, do I need this anymore? This is pulling. And I need that. This is doing stone, right? Yeah, that's stone. There's no stone there, there, or there. So we don't need this or this anymore, right? There's no stone there. All right. So let's clean this up. Dang it. that oh wait um so if we grab copper so i have to send it all right all righty Create a lot of train tracks. So I need some stuff. Let's grab this and put it down here. Boom. That there. All right. So we're going to need power poles, light bulbs, or uh, those things. Lamps. Uh, uh, I need some of this stuff. Um, let's just go ahead and scoop it all up. Bunch of lights. Let's do a couple hundred. Oh, my mouse won't work. All of a sudden, my mouse and keyboard have become disconnected. All right, now they're connected. That's so weird. <laughs> um, maybe I was clicking too fast. A lot of lights coming in. Um, power poles we're making, so we're gonna make a whole bunch of this. So let's get this down to 255. Then let's get this down to 200. The well, one thing I don't have a lot of are rails, but we should be making those right here. There we are. Let's um, get another row going here. That's good. That's okay. Let's get that a little topped off. That's being made from up there. And we're good. Um, okay, so let's come down here. Drop off all those there. And um, we're just going to concentrate on doing crafts. There we go. And um, we do have access to some landfill. Um, let's see here. Let's pick up. Deal. Oh wait, power poles. Uh, let's grab another hundred of those. Make sure the production is still going. 
and it is not. So what are we missing here? Steel. All right. So steel, which is right here. short on goods here. All right, so I want to have like 300 of these. 100, 200, got 300, all right. Lights I'm making, I'm making these, making those. Um, I guess we're good. This is going to be very long and boring. I need the infrastructure before I can go and get stuff. So I do all this now so I can take advantage of it later. Okay. Um, so the plan is from our pre-existing pre rail here, I'm going to go all the way over here. I'm going to come down here in between these two. Um, then we're going to hang over here. We're going to go outside of this so we're going to come over here up and then i need to connect that so we have some landfill we have to do that's the plan sounds like a good plan oh i forgot to pick up steel and stuff dang it andy All right, let's grab Bit of steel, copper, and a little bit of this. Hey, good morning, Ooh, how you doing? We're uh, we're gonna concentrate on oil today. I need to get some a better rail system set up. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Last night, Alex, my girlfriend, for those who don't know made homemade vegetable soup. Oh my God, it was so good. So hearty. All right, here we go. Lyft, how you doing? Good to see you guys. Okay, we don't need that. All right, so. This is where things get weird. I can't see stuff. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh, dang. Uh, now just throw some beef in the soup and you have something like stew. <laughs> she actually has a butter squash chili she wants to try. All right, so I'm going to switch over. <gasps> oh, okay. I do not have enough of those. Let me do this real quick. Let me blaze a path. I have to go back and pick up some more of those. I guess I could just make them. No, I, I don't have enough stuff to make. While I'm out doing this, is there anything I can research? Uh, personal battery. Ooh, yes. That requires military. Okay, and then that's all other science. All right. I feel like Paul Bunyan, except for I'm not collecting the lumber. All right, so let's make some replacements. We have only 13. Well, all right, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55, 65. All right, 
Then we're going to go back and uh, pick up um, four of those. Looks like production is halted. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, can't get all three. All right. And that's because we need some of those. All right. We're going to get back on track here. So yesterday, I had a, uh, so day before yesterday, Alex had pointed out that the, um, so we, we had, we installed for the most part, our own shower. We didn't do the walls or the pan. We had a plumber do that because they had to do the plumbing, but we did the walls. Um, and we're not too sure what the plumber used. So the shower wall is one of those, um, fiberglass and the pans fiberglass that has a, a cork bottom I think anyways so the the pan has a lip you know so it's got where you stand a little ledge and a lip and the wall comes down and it sits on the lip and then of course you're supposed to cock it now I don't know what the plumbers because I wasn't hovering over them um I don't know if they just used uh some silicone or or what I mean but um we did a caulking of everything and for the first round we had some leaks and we didn't properly go through and get all the water out so when we applied more it got a little weird so I went through and took out all of the caulk down at the base we didn't have to do anything at the top and replaced it and for the most part we were good for almost two months and then uh, Alex noticed that the caulking that we did on the base was separating just a little bit. And I posted pictures. Why did, oh. And um, so yesterday I went and removed sections of that was bad, filled it in. So hopefully, oh, didn't mean to do that. So anyways, I did that. It took me, I don't know, a couple hours. I had to run a, had to run a heater in there to get it all nice and dry. Um, so I want to switch over to these and blaze a path. And then while that was being worked on, I installed casters on the bottom of one of my workbenches. I posted pictures of that too. Now putting casters on this workbench makes it 41 inches tall, which is okay height for me because I'm six foot three. The table saw bench um is now six at the top of the table saw is now six inches from this workbench which would be a nice outfeed table so i've come up with a plan to where i'm going to put it on casters but i'm going to get the kind of casters that when you enable them then there's wheels and then when you disable them they just sit on the uh sit on the legs of the bench so I have to come up with a an adjustable solution for the table saw. So so if it's in a section of the garage and the garage is not 100% level in all the spots. So I have to figure out a way to where uh, I add a little platform that the table saw is gonna sit on and I have these adjustable legs. That way if I bring the outfeed table into the middle of the uh, garage and I bring up table saw and I snug up to it and if it's a little bit off or wonky then I can adjust these legs to get all nice and level thought that was a pretty good idea all right let's just uh so the plan is we're actually gonna go up to okay I went a little bit too far that's fine 
So, um, so what I need to do is come up with this um, six foot platform and actually it won't be six feet because the adjustable legs take up three quarters. Screw it all the way in. So I gotta, I gotta do some math. Math is hard, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time. <laughs> When, uh, when Alex and I started putting up the sheetrock in the garage, yeah, um, we were we we figured out what we needed because we're, we covered up a window. And so normal construction, which we have, is you have studs, right? And studs are every 12 inches on center or 16, depending upon, you know, where it was built. Um, but, and the window was like in the middle of the wall, no big deal except for some settling has happened. And what happened was that the, the window has its own frame, which is like a, uh, a fiberglass frame. And then there's the framing that you do with, with two by fours. And on the right side, there was a three quarter inch uh, difference between the two by four and the window. So you didn't want to put sheetrock and then it, 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 you can't get over the window. So we wanted to bring the sheetrock out, and then that way we can cover the window. Now, before you say, you don't want to cover a window, the window has got uh, that rigid foam board in there, and it's got a thermal layer, and on the outside is a storm window, so there's no way moisture can get in and out, um, unless I flood it from this side. On the other side, it was only a half an inch, so we had to make furring strips two different thicknesses, and the first time we were trying to do it, we actually created a square board, which is not what we wanted. Two adults going back to the roots of their math with fractions. Quite humorous. All right, actually, I think I went too far. All right, so let's do this, do that. And um, So if I put a turn, see how that works. I think that's gonna work out okay. All right, let's just walk all the way down, make sure we get all the lumber. There's a little tree. So it looks like we might have to do a little landfill here. There's Alex. Hi, Alex. Alex waved. One sec, guys. Be right back real quick.
All righty, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, so we gotta do a little landfill here. Good morning, sir. Oh, the insomnia struggle bus is on a roll this morning. Oh my God. Editor, I'm so sorry to hear about your constant battle with insomnia. You know what? Gaming will fix that, I think. I'm not a, not a physician. I don't need that anymore. I'm trying to find some local stone I can pick up. Do enough land. I don't think I am. So we're just going to run all the way back before we run into the problem. Click up some land. Click, click up. Pick up some landfill. Words. Struggle. We're making landfill right there. I'm gonna go all the way over there. The bucket I find that reading instruction manuals work. You know, it's funny. I don't read a whole lot of book chapter books, but I read a lot of tech stuff, and I can just go for hours. But you get a book, and I end up like getting lazy eye or sleepy eyed, and then uh. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I get tired and then I have to reread what I read before. Now, where is the copper slipping through? Thought I had put a stop to that. Maybe that's old residual. I had bacon and eggs this morning. I, I, I pointed out to Alex, I go, you know what? I know our our stove. Oh, geez, hang on. I got to get rid of. I know our stove is level, and our countertop is level because that's what they do when they install stuff. But when I'm putting eggs in the frying pan, they seem to gravitate to one area of the yolks, and then the whites go all over the place. So today I took a silicone circle that I use for pancakes, and I corralled them. That's what Alex called them. So. Take care of that. All right, I don't need all this coal, so we're gonna put a bucket right here. Put most of this coal like this, put that there. All right, now we got room for landfill. All right, we got no more room for anything. All right, let's go back and uh, So we're laying down a very large circular-ish track that's going to encompass our current factory. Then we're going to get, we have a couple oil spots. Why didn't I bring the car? Well, then I would have left it over here. We've already blazed a path for um, the track. What? Oh, all right, hang on. Is there a track there? Okay, there's. No, there's not track there. How do I? Er, hang on. I got it. There we go. So yesterday we spent most of the day um, upgrading the infrastructure, adding 
green circuits being made, which was awesome and got chemical science up, but it needs stuff that comes from oil. So that's why we're doing the oil today. So third day in a row, we had to sleep with the heater on at night. <laughs> it's getting that cold in the morning, it's 40 degrees. All right, so landfill time. I wanna make it a little bit wider than the track, like about that. Excellent. Then we're going to take it all the way down to about. Um, we're going to come on. Oh, was I going to try? Was I going to try to cut in here? Um, no, we'll come all the way down outside of this, outside of that, and then connect. So we'll do some more landfill over there. All right. All right. That's the plan. That's true. I guess I could have put a train down and just followed the train back and forth. You're right. You're right. You're right. Well, knowing the way I play, that sounds very most organized. And I would eventually like, okay, I got to go get something. Then I have a train stuck on the track. I guess I could just create a, a train stop and then retrieve it. For some reason, for me, older, slower, old school, older, slower, old, old, slower, old school ways as inefficient and slow seem to work better for me. So we want to go all the way down to this copper little ways. All right. That probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you would think, well, you know, if you do it this way, it's faster so you can do more stuff and yes, 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 yes. I just got to relearn myself. All right, so that looks like we're good. All right. Go back. The, oh, not, not those. Those. There you go. Nope, there. There you go. It's still the wrong thing. There you go. Weird. Out of curiosity, what is the purple line I see when I... And then there's teal. Probably has something to do with the, uh, the, the signals.
making sure I'm getting everything here. It looks like just a couple. Oh, a couple of section of track got missed. Too. Oh. Jeez, guess I got distracted. This would have guaranteed using a train would have guaranteed. All right, the train. That is so much faster than walking. All right, hang on. I have to, uh, Well, you know what? I can't seem to lay as much track as... Oh, wait. Uh, uh, I think I need to back up. And um, if we're going to scoot between that... Okay, so... Thought I had to make my turn already. So where I'm standing right now. Yep. So speaking of rails, the new rails that are coming look really awesome. Being able to automatically have, you know, over water without doing a, a ton of landfill. So cool. All right. Um, now. Uh, Really can't see where I'm at. I'm shrouded in trees. Oh, there I am. It's like my Uber.
One sec, guys. Sorry. Do 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 do. All right, then we have to go all the way. I do not have enough rails to do this. We're gonna have to go back and get some more. Oh, wait, let's go get the train to do this. Oh, I can't. No, never mind. The good thing about taking the, the train, as Fascinating pointed out, that you know you're going to have your track done because if the train can't go on it, that means uh, you miss a section of, man of track. So, there we go. Going east to west is a little bit easier to plot out when you're in the train versus north and south. Well, going south anyways. You know, uh, Alex was playing some Starfield this morning and she was commenting on a very good thing that when you're scanning and mining and it says you picked up iron, it doesn't tell you how much you picked up. I said, you know, you're right. It doesn't. And uh, I would, today I, I hopped into Vortex, updated mine, and made sure all my mods were up. Most of my mods were updated, and because um, uh, probably next week I'll get back into start some Starfield. I want to find some mods that actually. I don't want to do any cheating in Outpost, but I want more, I guess, information. And what what Alex pointed out, I go that that's a good idea for a mod. If you haven't played Starfield, you, you have a built-in, when you have your, uh, you have a built-in scanner, then if you have your mining laser and you see iron, you go over there and you, you dig up the iron and it just says you got iron, but it didn't tell you how much. Like, like for instance, like when you pick up here with the pickaxe, it shows you how much you're picking up. And then in parentheses, it tells you your grand total. That would be nice. I think. All right. So we're down to 508. And we're just underneath the factory here. My shoulders are all tight and achy because I was on my hands and knees and craning my neck and stuff for doing all the bathroom talking. All right, so we're gonna hop out. So we're gonna go right through that copper. I don't, I do not want to do that. I hate to say this, so I'm gonna do a turn, another turn, just because my, my perception, my death perception in this game is so bad. It'll be like a, a ride at Disney, I guess. All right. Let's 
get all this laid down. Um, I hate to say this. I need to go on my turn. I need to go down one rail, then hang. It looks like I'm going to just. That'll be hard for later when I try to put drills and smelting or whatever. Trying to plan for the future also doesn't always work out. So back up the train. I do a monster. And then usually if you use this mod or this command, that'll show you a, a, the, uh, no problem. That'll show you like my Kerbal, my Factorio, my Fallout. And if you want to look at any games I've played in the past, the, the um, old mods will bring up a list. So I try to keep all, a list of all my old mods. Not that they work anymore, but it's, it's good information. All right, um, then we want to do a turn. And you're welcome, monster. I can't see what's going on. All right, let's do this. There we go. All right, so if I check the map, yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna blaze a path there. Just noticed those guys didn't get picked up. Well, the, uh, the star UI is definitely good, but I like the comp the the compact building. So so the original user interface is is big, but the compact stuff doesn't remove anything it just makes it a little bit smaller which is good because like when you're trying to do ship building or even a um, outpost building the list of stuff that scrolls off the screen is now in the screen yeah you know what i mean so saves on scrolling So, go through and uh, remove that. I spent lots of time outpost building. Not a fan, yeah. Um, so they just had a patch that didn't really, I have to see if there's any performance issues. I haven't had any great performance degradation. 
I know, uh, poor Alex, she crashes so many times. She's, she loves the game, but she wants the crashing to stop. Uh, we have the same CPU, but I have a, a higher end GPU. So, um, all right, so how are we doing? 264. All right, we need to go back and, um, stock up. I mean, even in Fallout 4, I used, uh, it gave you lots of floating stuff. Oh, dear. Um, I know that in Fallout 4, I used a series of mods that helped with keeping the inventory, um, organized. There was tagging and icons. Oh, box and doors. I had floating stuff in my game, but so... Yeah. All right, so let's pick up all that. And we're going to head up here. Little break in the action here, folks. All right, so it looks like we need to uh, re-enable this. And we're going to add stone. Still need the landfill. Uh, I don't need all the lumber. So let's deposit the lumber. I have a bucket of lumber right there. So I'm going to put it all in there except for one. Keep that coal in reserve. All right. Let's pick up... Um, thousand of those. Um, let's get... We have, oh, okay. I think that's more than enough power poles. So let's get the uh, production of power poles going again. So what do we run out of? Oh, steel. All right. I have a little bit of steel on me. There you go. There, so take care of the steel problem. Go load up on copper. Oh, my ears pop. Weird. All right, um, light, uh, okay, we need, we got greens, oh, I need copper. Oh no, I need, uh, these. All right, let's make uh, 200, perfect. Um, let's make 200 of those. What does it need? Um, grab some copper. Grab some more of these. All right, so that needs to say uh, 106. Perfect. All right. We got rails. We got landfill. We got lights coming in. We have 341 power and we have those being made. All right, cool. <clears throat> right. Uh, I don't have any steel on me just in case I need to do something. So let's grab a little bit of steel. Excellent. Excellent. All right.
This is dumb. I don't have that many uh, nanobot construction bots. So we're going to go up. And we're going to have to run back and forth because they're running low on stuff too. So since we have to run back this way, I'm going to grab a bucket. Put it right next to where I put the tree, the lumber. We're going to put our landfill in there so I can uh, shuttle more stuff back and forth. So we're going to put that right there. We're going to do that there then we're going to all right that should be adequate So the construction right here. So red means that they've stopped. Oh, they ran out of copper. All right, of all things. All right, so what can we scoop up here? We can get, oh, all right, hang on. So let's, uh, this slightly topped off. Get that one slightly topped off. Oh, geez, that one's in bad shape. So that gives us 400. All right, that's good, but I want to keep that going. So I have to go down and load up on copper real quick. Wait, does copper have buckets down here still? They do. It's not enough. All right, we have to do. Rocks, doors, yes. Loading, yes. Run, forest, run. All right. And there, and we'll do all of this. And I put this there oh i can nice all right now we're going go back to doing rails playing choo-choo train tracks because it's so much fun here we go we have to swing by and pick up the landfill Not too worried about that because that hasn't started and I've got, oops. Yeah, okay, we're good. Landfill. Oh. All right, so the plan is we take this all the way to the outside of this copper. Up to here, and then we're going to bring this across and connect some landfill. Then we have a couple oil spots we can take advantage of. This one, I think, is what I want to do since the rails will be so darn close. And there's water down here, so that this will be interesting. So we'll... Hmm. I think we'll 
drag the oil down, put a refine. So I think, yeah. Which means it's going to start creating a lot of pollution and we're going to have to go out and do some reconnaissance, I think. A little recon, you know. I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. Why does he keep saying recon? He's not playing, you know, modern warfare squad. I tried to play squad. The people that are dedicated to that game, very patient, but very good. I don't have the eyesight for it anymore. All right. Oh, I got itchy ear. Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. <laughs> BMAC, good morning to you. How are you? Uh, okay. So we want to go on the outside of that. So one more. How's that line up? Oh, geez. I've been working on the railroad all the live long stream. I modified it. Oh, it's coming. It's coming along nicely. Thank you for asking. All right, now we're going to turn. I mean, a lot of people can look and say, oh, this is where my rails seem to go. I can't, so I build a big loop, so that way I can like take shortcuts in the middle and yada, 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 you know? All right, and all right, now let's go get the train. Hang on a sec. There we go, fresh one. We're drinking on. Hey. Better. Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm running to go get it right now. What I found is I can't seem to, when I go north to south, I can't lay as many tracks because of the hot key thing, but going east to west, I can. So I got a train. Um, um, the ooh fascinating pointed that out. I said, no, nah, I just uh, walk because then I'll leave it. And then, oh, then no, it's a lot faster. Plus it also verify or quantifies. It, it makes sure. Oh, geez. That the rail works. All right, so we're going to run into problems on the turn here, though. All right, so let's go ahead and fix that. Oh, dang it. Not that one. Put that back. That one. <laughs> there we go. Now we are, dang it. I need to go over one more and up because that's gonna hit, I, I don't wanna do that. I'm very sorry guys. Let's, uh, okay. Yeah, my death perception with every single game I, I play where I have to line up something, I'm horrible. thing I enable when I panic and I don't know how to disable it. 
Or I, I guess what would be better is if I put this, what's it called? Um, made it a, um, I forgot what this, what I want to call it. Someone actually walked me through that once to where I could just go boom, 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 boom. And uh, I didn't have to worry about it. All right, so hang on. Walk right here. That should miss it. You know, you say use the grid and here I am slowly trying to get part of our house. Well, not off grid, but uh, have backup. That's not a generator. Because believe it or not, where I live in North Carolina, I would say probably four times out of the year we lose power because of storms. And uh, last time we had about a, no, the, the first time was an eight hour outage right in the middle of cooking supper. So supper was ruined. We, we had, we didn't starve. It just, it was very, very, um, inconvenient. Um, now this was Alex's folks were out of town, so we didn't have access to the generator. But last time we had like a three hour outage. He fired up the generator and we were doing air fryers and ovens. You just can't run. They're on well water, so you can't run the pump. Uh, we're not on well water here. And of course the HVAC you can't do, but there are ways with generators and solar to where you can actually run your HVAC. You have to have something called a soft start or easy start or something like that, which is something you hook up to your HVAC and you, you click it on and off a couple times. And the, 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 the logic determines exactly how much amperage you need to get your HVAC going. And it's not illegal. That way, instead of needing that 30 amps to start, you don't need 30 amps. Maybe it only needs five amps. And it will, um, it'll cool or heat. A lot of uh, RV people use it. Because some of the big RVs will have two air conditionings. So they, they need a 50 amp service. Uh, and sometimes where they go, they only get a 30 amp. So they have to plug into 30 amp, only one run, only run one AC. But if they do 30 amps with these soft starts, they can run both ACs. You just can't run your microwave and air fryer and both ACs. You have to be, you have to know how many amps you're pulling. It's all about the amps. Oh, we're out. <sighs> Getting close. Now we got a lot of trees around our house, so we do not have great exposure to the southern sun, but we get we get sun though. Let's go down and get the choo-choo. Oh, I have it in my pocket.
Bear with me for a half a second here. Computer room is the warmest room in the house. And uh, I make sure that the whole house is nice and comfortable. Then once I go off to school and work and stuff like that, it's just me. And I usually run a little warm. But uh, getting a little cold on my... Knees. All right, let's go down and get the train. <sighs> oh, sorry. I did. <laughs> sorry. You know what's spooky scary is sometimes uh and that's the in here i have uh hey saturn good morning to you in here i have the uh what's it called i have the amazon show right here so and it gives me news highlights and stuff like that and this has got a different activation word than the one in the living room it's the standard one and i don't know what happens because i don't say and um all of a sudden, from the other part of the house, I'll hear someone talk, and I'm going, "Whoa!" And then all of a sudden, it's it's playing an excerpt from a book or a song or something. I go, "Well, why is it doing that?" Oh, oh, I see. All right. Uh, Alex Jr. has the Echo Spot, the little tiny video circular one and she uses that as the uh mine will randomly just start talking and i have to yell at it to shut up <laughs> well alex jr has a little white noise fan real close to her so when she the alarm goes off and she tries to get it to stop she has to yell at it <laughs> oh kids I love the show. I really do. I think it, it takes a, a, a very small footprint and uh, I don't have everything uh, enabled on it because, you know, I don't need to know what sales are going on and stuff like that. Oh. Hmm. Oh man, I got to post a picture of the, I got to post a link of the recipe of the homemade, veg we had homemade vegetable soup last night. Oh man, it was so good so hearty and filling i had two bowls of it and i had to like ask for help getting up off the couch not really but it was that good oh we're almost there yay she wants to do a butternut squash chili i think maybe not tonight um we've actually made the classic chili Oh man, that was so good too. And we did um, cornbread muffins. Oh. I know it's really bad that I start talking about food because everyone will get hungry and then they leave or they go, they get something to eat, they fall asleep. It's, it's fine.
<laughs> well, I did uh, I did bacon and eggs this morning. Kind of my standard. I did waffles the day before yesterday. Um, today I'm debating on... Um, so I added the casters. I posted pictures out in Discord. I think I did. Yeah, I, I added casters to... The first workbench I ever made. It makes it 41 inches tall, which is still okay for my height. And what that does, that gives me a... Um, did I post a picture of it? Originally, I was a, a half an inch from the top of the table saw to my workbench. Now I'm almost six inches. So what I'm thinking of is I'm going to get different casters for the... Um, for the... Uh, um, the workbench and I'm going to use these casters instead. Hopefully this link works. That way when you set them, it raises it up on wheels so you can move it around. But then when you get to a spot, you unset them and then it lays, it sits on the legs. And then with that, I can say, okay, I just have to create a six inch platform or smaller, a four inch platform. And I have, or five inch, see, I, I have to figure out some math here because I have some adjustable legs that I want to put on this platform that it's going to sit on on site, not a platform, but a, a shelf, I guess. And uh, that way I can use these adjustable uh, furniture adjusters. That way, when I roll it up, if it's off keister or needs to go up and down a little bit because of the garage isn't level, I can. So... I have to, I'm gonna go do some math and try to create some pieces in a frame and whatnot. Basically what I wanna do is I wanna use the table saw, I'm sorry, I wanna use the big workbench as an outfeed for the uh, table saw. All right, so let's get this side finished. And then I have to go pick up some more stuff Hey, there's Pookie. Hi, Pookie. What are you doing? Have you had your third nap for the day already? Alexa, computer, Echo, Amazon. Listen to me. I'm your new overlord, Codsworth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I still need the landfill. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit there and then there. All right, let's go over and use up what I have. Do, 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 do. What's up, Pookie? Huh? He's squinting his eyes. He he's looking for a snack. <clears throat> looking for a snack. I don't know why. Voice crack. All right, let's go up here. All right. What's this? Then landfill wise. Nice.
Uh, I need a third nap. I've been up since 2.50 this morning. Had to get code to production on a whim. Wow. You know, I have to say, I miss writing code. I didn't really write that much code per se. When I worked at Intel, it was like a, a very proprietary IVR interface. But sometimes you had to put in like SQL statements and um, sometimes some variable checking and stuff like that. But um, the, 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 the flow charting was the same as any sort of coding though, so. All right, so we don't need landfill. I need to get rid of this lumber. Um, I need more track. I th think I need more of that stuff. So let's create some more of that, get some stuff. First of all, let's get rid of the lumber. Mainframe? You mean like, oh, mainframe, okay. Well, so what is the mainframe code? You're not doing assembly, are you? That would be weird. Oh, RPG. Oh, 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 wow. I don't even think I've seen what RPG code looks like. PGM parameter current date. Wow. All right. Some of it makes sense, but yeah. Wow. That looks weird. They took away the column restraints and bringing, uh, bringing us up for each loop. Now it's like cobalt. I was looking at kind of cobaltish. Yeah. Right. Because, well, you know, it's been, I got out of the Navy in 1984. Don't go there. So we're looking at what? Um, 35 plus years on COBOL. So what does it look like now? Trying to find a modern reference here. Oh, okay. No, it... Oh, wow. Okay. You still have your, your, your grouping, your main procedure. Still, I thought. All right. I, I can look at it and I can, but it's like, I can talk the talk, but not walk the walk anymore. Oh, excuse me. All right. I think I got enough of that. I got enough of that. I don't have enough lights. Uh, let's see what shut down over here. We need to get more uh, of that. So let's stock up on that real quick. Honestly, most of what I do is now SQL SQL. You guys do stand, see at, at, uh, at Intel, we had, we had a, a CMS system. It was called Rex. Now it used SQL, but they used their own version of SQL. And it took a lot of uh, work and a lot of debating to get off that SQL and push everything over to Microsoft SQL. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's all the same, but different. Even my SQL is a little bit, you can't take the same, well, back in when I was doing it, you can't take the same query from Microsoft SQL to MySQL or even to whatever Rex is running. When I was young, I liked emergency deployment. It was like winning a battle. Now I think, why do I have to do this? Don't they have QA people? Yeah, not so much anymore. All right, so we need, what do I need? I need uh, uh, this. 
and we're gonna dump half of it so i need to create we'll say um 100 more lights so that needs to say 166 when i'm done close enough and i think i have enough of that power poles 297 should be okay so we just got to pick up some rails anything else i'm missing got some steel i got i got a little bit of everything so i think oh oh man i am feeling the aches and pains today i spent uh, i'm gonna say i spent about an hour on my hands and knees doing some uh bathroom caulking repair hopefully this this works um yeah so my my shoulders are all achy wakey ah <sighs> Oh, you know what? Completely forgot. We're almost out of uh, uh, nanobot things. Those are over here. And it looks like we ran out of... There. Look at what I got. Take all that. Hang on a sec. I need to get some um, stuff. I can go down here and get it. Oops. The Great Train Track Project of 2023 brought to you by Gamer Circle. That was stupid. All right, here we go. So I saw we're coming up on some trees, and instead of collecting the lumber, I just want to eat away at it.
Yay! Only took an hour and 30 minutes to do. Wow. All right, let's um Wow, that didn't break very fast. <laughs> All right, let's hop out of this. Pick that up. All right. Um I need to get this running full bore. Let me run down and pick up some stock. I don't think I have to carry so many tracks with me anymore. Well, no, I, I will, because we're going to have to create some more stuff. All right, let's grab... Uh, okay. Grab the copper. You know what? Hang on a sec. This is what I'm going to do. Um, I need to move that down here so I don't have to keep running up and... Because that's where initially I needed it. So I don't need it up there that much. So I'm going to move that whole operation... We're gonna put it right here. So let me um, let me switch to these. It's kind of a unique setup. So as soon as I get logistics bots up and running, I won't really need nanobots anymore. All right. So let's um, switch back to those guys. Grab a bucket. Put all the copper in there. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, let's see here. Let's put this next to that. Let's put those in there. I'm trying to make some room here. Actually, since we're gonna be going out again with stuff, we're gonna do, so let's put the rails. Put most of those, all of those. Uh. All right, let's go up and uh, we're gonna make a copy. I'm gonna try to pick up everything. I don't know if I will be able to, and then we're gonna bring it all down. Having a QA team no longer a thing. The end users are the testers. Very true. I mean, I got an email from, uh, so Alex and I decided to take a, a big risk with Anchor, which by the way, <clears throat> I only know Anchor because I have 
um, their uh, mobile charging doohickey things, like you know, the, like this thing. That's all I knew. Anchor made. I didn't know what other line of stuff they made. Wall chargers and stuff like that. They decided to get into 3D printing. So they, they, we have their 3D printer. So we did a Kickstarter with them. So you got a, a big discount on it, like 35% off on the printer. And we even went further and did their color um, add-on. And we've been getting this email from them about delays because the color stuff was supposed to come out, I think back in March. Uh, they had some problems with the nozzle and this and that. And these emails are very detailed about their testing and their quality and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, there still are some out there that test. I'm gonna copy that and then let's pick it up. Yeah, that work. Um, I got lucky. All right, so our current mall, my mall anyways, my version of the mall is right here. Let's paste this out of the way. this up with copper pull that up pull that up oh where's the copper oh, there it is right. come up here and grab that That's better. All right, so now, oil, finally. Uh, we have an oil deposit down here. I have a funny feeling that once I start creating pollution down there, yeah, we're gonna have some problems. So we want to... Well, first of all, we need some stuff, so... I have pipes being made, so I'm, I'm ahead of the game on that. Let's grab like that much of that. Grab that much of that. And I wanna make eight refineries. So what do we need? We need hogs? Really? Mm. All right, so there's eight refineries and let's make like, um, five, 10, 15, do that. All right, so we're gonna need power poles. We got the power poles. Um, we're gonna need belts and stuff. So get that there, um, undergrounds. Belts. All right, so.
Oops. I don't need to be carrying drills around. This is oil. Oh, I need pump jacks though. Yes, I do. All right, so how many pump jacks am I gonna need here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen pump jacks. Five and fifteen. All right. Three. All right, let's go down and start our adventure. Now, hang on. I'm not too sure. So if we drill here and say we drag the oil down, refinery, so we'll, we'll do a, um, a junction off of here so we can do some more uh, train track stuff. I got rails with me. Just not too sure where I'm gonna put it. Last time I tried to put the station first, I got an alignment problem. I don't wanna go through that again. Probably could have drove the car down, but the car is way up there. Did I make another car? Yep. A lot of lumber in the way. So instead of picking it up, which I don't have room for, let's get to the, we got water here. So that's gonna be good for the advanced uh, oil refinery. All right, so let's switch to those guys. Looks like we could do a little squaring up of the... Oh, I don't have that much landfill on me. Yikes. Uh... Yes! No, they're, they're actually called uh, termite bots. So they're, they're programmed nanites that eat lumber, devour it. All right, then we want to do those power poles.
All right, it would appear I calculated correctly or counted correctly. All right, so ow, 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 ow. I just smacked my shin. I'm fine. All right, so let's put our oil here. All right, let's get some power. Uh, well, for right now, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Um, Captain Slappy, yes. There, there used to be an all-in-one mod. It's on my old mod list that did both pump jacks and the uh, the mining. And uh, I missed those mods so much, that mod. But then when someone told me about pump and this one, I went, okay, I'll try it. And oh yeah, yeah, we're back, we're golden. Um. I have a question. Do I have everything I need for solar? Because we're getting... Um, I can't make those until I have batteries. So I have the stuff. All right. Or the requirement. Oh, okay. Copper. Fine. All right. Power. Uh, okay, sure. Let's, uh, let's do it right here. Yay. Oh, interesting. There we go. All right. Um, so, right. Let's um, switch back termite mode. So I need to get First of all, we have to get red circuits going. So red circuits need plastic. And then we also need sulfur. But first let's get plastic. So get plastic, we need coal and petroleum gas. All right, so I need coal. Is there a local coal? <gasps> There's not. Oh, this is the first time I've, oh, it's way over there though. Well, I... If I set up mines here... And I do my refinement here, dragging the coal across... A little spaghetti-ish, which I'm very known for. But that beats doing a, a, a train pickup and drop-off from there. So, yeah, we'll do that. All right, so what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Got to distract. Just started Factorio. How do you balance liquids out of a refinery? Um, are you playing with or without biters? I have biters, but I had them, I have them dialed back immensely. So they're here. They're, uh, there they are. See? I'm a bad person to ask that because I am not that good at this game at all. But what I do is um, at this stage of the game, it becomes a cat and mouse game. So right now, the only the only liquids I get are going to be the petroleum, right? Now, once I get advanced refinery and you get light and heavy, heavy is only needed for like uh, lubricant. Yes, one less headache. Um, so generally what I do is I try to balance between taking my heavy, cracking it into light, taking the light, and also what comes and turning that into petroleum, because you start using up petroleum gas a lot, a lot. Um, and then usually what I end up doing is like, if, uh, if it gets to where I have too much heavy, I add another light uh, refinery to make more. But later on, when I get, um, I have a couple of nice blueprints that do a really good balancing for me, so I don't have to worry about it.
when your tank gets full you you could do this you can actually deconstruct the tank and just add it back until you fi figure out a good way of good doing a balance i don't do a great job i do an okay job so i'm trying to clear some real estate here The thing about it is when you're on advance, let's say your heavy fills up, it, it, the refineries won't fire up and give you light or petroleum anymore. Yeah, so hang on. Let me, let me make a little bit more room here. And uh, I'll try to demonstrate that. Well, I'm not gonna be in advanced oil yet because that requires yeah, I need to. What they're talking about is this right here. See, right here, this is where you can take um, heavy and turn it into light. And then you can take light and turn that into petroleum. And you do that through, uh, through these guys right here, chemical plant. All right. This should get me started. So what I want to do is grab, um, let's go with five refineries first. That way, no, that way. One. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. There's a good way to do it too. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to put them all. Oh, I got one more. See, we're gonna do most of our work here. That way our train can come over here and pick up stuff. So let's store. Um, Can create a let's see if I can do this. No, I'd have to do that. And then with copy. No. No. Yes. That's weird. Why is my computer freaking out over here? 
Then we switch to these guys. Alright, and then we do... Alright. Um... Plastic. So plastic needs petroleum gas switch off and coal. So let's do... Um... Start off with like four of these, I guess. Um. All right, then they're gonna pull plastic out. All right, so now we gotta get the coal here. Let's get this set up somewhat. So um, that, 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 that. And that. So we have to drag the coal from here. I guess we're just gonna bring it straight across. And then up. All right, do I have any drill? I have no drills on me. All right, so we're heading back. And a little bit of pollution down here. All right, um, all right while I'm down here, let's go investigate a little bit. See what we're up against. Or not. Tree. All right, that's not bad. Because there's nothing there. It's not bad at all. Ooh, all right, what do we got here? Uh, I'm gonna need a little help. So can I make, I can make a couple turrets. Oh dear. Jerks. I wasn't ready. <laughs> there you go. Little backup, just in case. All right. 
Just you and me, worm. Show them. That's right, mess with gamer circle, you get the armor piercing rounds. That's right. All right, cool. All right, so um, we're gonna be picking up plastic. So since I have some components for that, let's um. I'm pretty sure I can uh, be safe to say that I can bring it down from here and put a pickup here. So we'll, let, let's do that. Then the question is where we're going to drop off the plastic. We need it in the bus here. So we're going to have to create a little... Uh, um, a junction here and come down and connect or hmm. I don't know. I don't think I want to cut through there. So we'll just come straight down drop. Okay. All right. Plans planning tempting. That's waiting for us. Nice. So yeah, we're gonna have to just drag the coal and then it's not gonna take much. Rolling the floor laughing, how to make a Superman comedy movie. The CAA wants to kill Clark Kent because he is good journalist and keeps exposing their secrets, but can't figure out why all their attempts to fi Well, all they need is some kryptonite, right? And then deny him access to the sun based on current lore. But yes. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. All right. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to do this right there. Well, yeah, and of course, you know, he can use his uh, super hearing and x-ray vision to, you know, if someone's lying, their respiration and heart rate go up and, you know, they can see things in the briefcases that, you know, hidden weapons trying to uh, thwart sure. his uh, journalistic skills. So if we want to pick up plastic, it's going to be made here. 
So, oh no, it's going to be made way down here. All right, so we need to a little bit more. So let's do a loading. Until all the uh, the structs are done here, and then I'll just uh, termite my way out of this. There we go. And let's um, do that. Then we can um, do that. So much cleaner. All right, switching back. Do we have the, okay. So this will be the um, plastic or factory. Okay. All right. Um, we need to get drills. Oh, geez.
I should have a bucket of some drill somewhere. Uh, in fact, pick up some drills right over here. Couple of drills, anyways. Pull. All right, let's um get this up and running again. There's our drills. Um, 55. We'll see if that's enough. Don't know. We're going to need... We have plenty of that. I think I should make some more splitters. So, um, right. We need some stuff. to make so to make one of those so if I want to do a 75 transport belts What do we got there? 45, 50, stretch oh good stretch oh good pop too yeah I've crafted pop all right so what do we got going on here um I got 55 that gave me close to 80 so 5 95 100 all right so we'll get those wait for those to finish and here we need greens, which I don't have too many of, but we can go up here and for that, for that. And then cogs, which we have down here. That's all we're making. All right, cool. Um, let's do a 
More steel. So we've got one, two, three, four. That would be our train for the plastic. Um, I can get rid of this liquid ones I'm carrying around. I don't know why I made those. Um, like 20 more of those for giggles. And guys, I'm going to take a little uh, bio break. So let me uh, do the BRB thing. And we'll go over and get this going. And I'll be back in about 10 or 15 minutes.
I'm back. All right, cool. Where you go, guys? Oh, had myself a quick snack because you know bananas. Yum. Do 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 do. Cool. All right, let's get back to the game. Make sure I haven't died. Usually that. What happens? Um, one sec again. Sorry. Do, do, do. And hang on. I'm having phone problems all of a sudden. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Sometimes having basketball hands does not pay off. All right, um, we were um, gathering stuff. So we got drills. Um, I've got rails, I've got that, I've got those. We've got lights, we've got those. Um, oh, you are? Nice. That's a good survival game. I haven't played it. I played it once when they released it and um, something else came out that I was looking forward to and I never went back to my Imperium game. I'm trying to figure out what I need here. Um, so we're going to go dig here and we're just going to drag all the way over. So I want to stock up as many power, uh, power's enough, uh, uh, those things, yeah.
I'll be honest with you, I got scared playing that game. Ooh. All right. Let's uh go to work. Oh, well, I believe it. I mean, even space engineers, vanilla is fun. And then once you get to the moon, once you get can get, you know, ion engines and you can beat the pirates, it's kind of boring. Tell you what though, I'm kind of very content with my survival games right now. And we were talking about this yesterday. Sometimes if I go like all engineering games, you know, if I'm doing Kerbal, Factorio, Satisfactory, and there's no Pew Pew, I, I get stagnant. <laughs> now they just patched Starfield and I got my, I got, the important mods updated, but I got to go back through and check all the mods. Well, that's awfully kind of you, man. So this, um, this is where we want to do some coal. And I'm not going to use a train system to pick it up. Nope, nope. I'm just going to Drag it all the way across the map. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do this and I wanna drag that way using those and that. All right, cool. And do that. Yeah, uh, just uh, do that in Discord, mana. Um, probably gaming chat. Yeah. Because people will drop links and stuff in chat. And I'll, I'll, I'll put them in a tab. And then nine out of ten times, I'll unknowingly close Chrome or Firefox or whatever. And I lose it every single time. All right, so let's do this for right now just to kind of clean this up all right itchy nose man that was a good banana So again, anyone that was here last Friday that helped me out with uh, my Raspberry and Linux and Pi Hole, man, that, uh oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, let's put that there, nice. It's running rock solid. That turned out really well. I am so impressed. I just wish I knew more about Linux. So what I'm trying to do is find other things that one would want to run on the raspberry and then try to figure out how to install it myself uh, uh, that reminded me i i have a i have to save the link for starfront before i close in the browser well anytime during my day usually my streaming pc pc is running which means the bot's running so you could still enter in the chat command and it would tell you what's going on. All right, so, all right, let's switch over to termites here. Let's blaze a path. Um, I've been asking Alex if she's had any issues with pie hole running. And she says, well, I think I find a hiccup, but then I think it just might be the site. And um, I don't know how to check how much latency there is because it goes from router to pie hole back to router. So there's some back and forth, not a whole lot. 
And um, the very f so within 24 hours, uh, Alex plays a a restaurant game with Alex Jr. And um, she says that ever since I put that up, um, she doesn't have ads in her game on her on her phone. I went, okay, that's a good thing, right? She goes, yes. I said, all right, cool. All right, so. What I was trying to do was customize my dashboard last night, and I found a couple of videos where people were talking about it, but unfortunately the dashboards come from Home Assistant Community, and I, I can't do that because uh, I installed through a container. So I guess I have to do just vanilla stuff. That's okay. All right, let's uh, switch back to these guys. Wait, how many? I got it. Okay. Well, the funny thing is, I really don't need that much. I mean, I could use this maybe later on. So we have what? A definitely one, two, three, four. So we'll do a four to four. And we'll just drag two over there. Uh, four to four. And do that. Then we'll do that. Not that, not that either. All right, then we'll put a splitter here. So we need a few more. Oh, we need one, two, three, four. I can't count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. All right. So let's um. Yes, I'm doing very long spaghetti. I, I just don't, oh jeez. Oh man, I'm freaking out over that. Um, all right, so before we do that, let's do some rails down here. Go. some stone. Dang it.
All right, cool. Then we can uh, continue. Now from here is what we can do. I'm actually going to interrupt the flow just in case this is a mistake. Let's get all these other drills online. It would appear that I counted correctly. Now this is gonna cause pollution, so there could be some bad guys over here I may have to contend with. Let's switch to termites. Switch back to non-termites. And, um, huh, not bad. Bringing the second line over just in case I need it. All right, so now, yes. All right, so let's go over and check. Uh, make all the bullets we can. I'm gonna get lost in the forest. I'm safe. Head here, nice clearing. Really big rocks. Okay, that's going into the water. It's an island, not worried about that. Let's just go down here and make sure. Just in case, I don't think the, uh, I don't think this is gonna get any bigger. I don't think.
Hmm. All right, let's go a couple. One more. One more. All right, now let's head this way. Trees. Trees are our friends. Fox or not. Damage our vehicles. Then we have to repair them. Drive around them. All right. So. All right. All right. Cool. Nice. All right, cool. So if all is going well, plastic should be getting made right now. And since we're dragging coal over here, we can refuel our train right here. Getting lucky on this so far. That's plastic. So I have to do sulfur too. We have to actually uh, load it up, drop it off. All right, let's uh, that's ready to receive. Look at that. Okay, now why is that one not getting plastic? Oh, did I not make the thing long enough? Oh, I didn't make it long enough. All right. There we go. All right, so what we'll do is we'll pull these out um, and then this is going to be very kludgy. And we'll do a splitter. I can't remember. So if I do that, that works. And then we go like this. We come out of there. Like that. So I should be able to duplicate this. Oh, really? Uh, okay, wait a minute. Hang on. There you go. Now, um, let's see here. Where's the train? Right there. All right, so we're gonna demo some trees. I like talking to talk. Demo. So it looks like hypothetically, it'd be like this. It's not going to line up exactly. And I don't think it's going to be... I guess I could do two. It's going to be a little thin. And then... So this is a four to eight. And if I do... That... <laughs> now we go two to four to eight. There we go. Um, so let's see here. Let's turn off the eaters. Almost said biters. Do that. There we go. Plastic. Sweet. All right, so now, so, oh, we got to set up a train with refueling. That's not gonna be hard at all. All right, let's get rid of all the rocks because they're in the way. All right, so let's grab our train, our choo-choo. This is plastic pickup, nice. We grab that, that, that that all right cool um so for refueling do that 
I'm going to use this. And then we can... There we go. Oh, we don't have power down here. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so now we have to do the plastic drop off. And I don't have a plastic, a plastic, a plastic feed yet. So plastic needs to go to the red circuits and No, that just needs sulfur. Oh, we need it. We need the red circuits though. All right. I get it. Yep, I should get my car. All right, let's think about where I want to do this. Turn this off. So plastic needs to go up there, but I think a plastic is also needed for... Not there. Ah, yeah, okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna need a channel of plastic. So if we, I think I was going to do a hmm. I'm going to do a junction right here, but that's in the way of the coal. So if we do a junction there and come straight down, well, okay, that'll work. All right, so let's go do some more train stuff real quick. Real quick. While we're letting our plastic build up. Oh, let's make can't make lights. Why? Oh. And as soon as we get red circuits, I can do a new uh thing of armor too. That'd be cool. Armor, you know. I know. I know what you're saying. Armor. Armor. All right, um, let's see here. Oh, the production is halted because we ran out of stone. Well, that's funny because I just passed stone. That'll work. And we'll put that right there. Steel almost out. So let's give you what steel I got. Let's go up here and get some more steel. What's in here? Oh, tracks. I'll take the track. Take those. Take those. Grab the steel. What else do you need? It's getting a little thin. There we go. All right, everyone else cope aesthetic here. That yeah, looks fine. All right. Oh, then rails. All right, so we need lights. Hopper. All right, and then um, we got 92 and 42. Should be enough. Not make some more.
All right, so we have to go to the outside over here. All right. Um, let me walk the path. We walk the walk. Seems like my, uh, my advancement is stagnating because I got to that point to where, you know, I need sulfur and plastic. So it did take me an hour and 30 minutes to get a nice big looping rail system. Oh, we're going to have to do some landfill. Doggone it. All right, let me go get some landfill. I don't have too much room for that. Um, do I need the chemical plants? I don't. Do I need those? No. I got a little bit more room. Shouldn't be a whole lot. All right, what do I have a lot of that I don't need of? That didn't make any sense. All right, so what I'm going to do is... Put a bucket, miscellaneous stuff, up and back for it. So I don't need this plastic. I don't need that single drill. I need that. Don't need those. All right, so now we can get us more land. Wait. water was in the way there. That's weird. All right. Um, let's switch to termites. I think I drove through here with the car once already.
Alright. Oh, jeez. It did escape. How did all those get missed? That was weird. So yeah, we'll be able to do a drop off of plastic, and then drag it like this and then up for plastic and later on for the other science. I just walked up and down this and for some reason the nanobots are on vacation or, or strike or something. Weird. It's not like I'm walking too fast. There is another upgrade for the nanobots, but it's in the blue science. Hmm. So this should line up exactly. Nice. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then for that, replace it with that. Your little uh, signals here. Yep. All right, so hypothetically, I want the plastic to go through here. 
That means we want to put our unload station. Ooh, if we do it on the inside, that's going to take up real estate. So that means we've got to do a lot of landfill. All right. Because I would rather not use up real estate on the inside of the factory. I'd rather use it on the outside. That doesn't make any sense, but for some reason, it makes a lot of sense to me. Um, so. Pick what landfill we got. A lot of trees in the way, too. Not all the way. Uh, all right, let's see here. It's going to be approximately... We unload, so it's going to be right about there. I don't know where that was. Right about here. So, one, two, on the third one. So, one... Two, so we'll start doing landfill like here. That's all right. Um, turn the termites on. No, no, let's not do that yet. All right, so, um, let's put some buckets here. More. Oh, I'm making buckets, aren't it? Great. All right. Drop those off. Um, drop that off, that, that. I'll need these. Not right now. Need those. I'll need those. Um, All right, we're going to go fill up on nothing but landfill. Right here. All right, let's see how far I can get with that. So I actually, oh, oh, all right. Here's our construction zone. This is where I want to put it, right? Yes. All right. So let's see if we can uh, see. Well, that would go there. And as a marker, um, where that fish is, which is fishing away. So I can't use a fish as a marker. All right. Um, all right. I have an idea. Out there, go over just one more tick. Mm. All right. 
Now let's try that again. Unloading. And we want to put it right there. That's going to work, but I want a little bit walking room. All right, sweet. Then we need to, um, that. Oh, we're not gonna have enough inserters. That's okay, this is a work in progress. Those won't work because I don't have those yet. But I believe. Yep. We do this. There. 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 Uh, we do another one. What? There. 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 And there. And then. Can I do, I can't, all right. Um, just finish what we can. And we wanna go down here, grab this name. I can click on it, there we go. And copy. will be unload. Now, I hopefully, this should work. Go back for um got the buckets it's the inserters all right let's go back and make inserters and let's grab this landfill oh can't get it all all right bummer all right let's figure out it's gonna go below this so let's, um, let's drop off the, uh, well, let's get the, uh, channel built bus, whatever it's called. Go drop off this landfill. Go. All right, um, these back. Plastic in question. Oh, is this gonna clear these? Nice.
little patch job there. Bypass. All right, let's see here. So we're going to do a four to two off the train here. Dang it. Oh, I'm terrible aim. All right. Okay. Uh, um. There we go. All right, let's call the train up, which would be this one. We're going to say add station, and we want to add one we just added there. And we want to wait for empty cargo and inactivity, and it's being refueled down there. So let's head up here. There it is. A little slow. All right. And then we then add a station. Add that one. I'm going to say wait full cargo. Wait. Oh. Oh, I forgot inserters. Doggone it. How many do I need? Dude, right here. Come on. There we go. There we go. And there we go. All right. Got a little nervous. Oh, that's so cool. So how much plastic do I need for this suit? I need, uh, oh, no, pl I just need red. And you got a full fuel tank. All right, cool. Just want to make sure this is going to work. Huh. How come there's no progress on the empty here? Oh, it's on. Okay, that's why. Train. This got a this got a late start. All right, and excellent score. That's working. All right. So now that we got plastic, we have red. We still need sulfur. I can upgrade my armor though. Oh, look at that. We're making red circuits. Cool. Oh, so neat. Um, so the collection of red circuits look like I should probably 
it right here right now. Do that. Want to do that, and we can just bring it up here and get some power. There we go. Nope, that didn't work. Why? Oh, my bad. That again. There you go. All right, let's uh, go get some reds and make a new suit of armor. Yeah. Make sure we don't drop anything. Mm. All right. So let's ch take off that suit. Put on that suit. And it's got, it's got logistics. Um, not from, I, oh, wait a minute. Does that mean, no, I don't have the exoskeleton. All right, so. We're not getting red or uh, chemical science yet because we need we have the red circuits coming down here they are um but we still need the sulfur all right that's going to take a while all right so now sulfur <sighs> is water and petroleum. So we got that, and then we just have to do another train. Hmm. All right, wait. Let's go pick up the stuff we dropped off. Yay, plastic. What's it take? Batteries. Oh, I can't. Wait, I thought I could. Oh, there they are. Batteries. Oh, sulfuric acid. Ah. Uh, if we drag sulfur up here, we could make the sulfuric acid up here and then make batteries. All right. Well, let's get the sulfur going first. So I got the. Uh, we're going to need some more, um, we're going to need another train. Let's go make that. Actually, where's the engines at? Engines are right here. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So what else we need? Oh, I didn't get enough. Oh, there we go. All right, there's our sulfur train. Um, we can use the same rail. We're just going to need a few more tracks, right? Because if the sulfur is going to be made down here also, um, yeah, let's just make the sulfur here so we can put another, uh, ooh, let's get, I should have put that on this side. So we'll put the sulfur pickup on this side. Or, no, no, let's put the sulfur on this side and just do a junction, pick it up. And, yeah, 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 that makes more sense. All right, let's get some more rails. All right, we got only 27 of those. So let's make uh, five, ten. Get that down there. More lights. All right, then we need more stuff. <laughs> now, if we do, oops. We can still pull off the coal and refill that train down there. That'll work. All right, so we'll go down. Uh, let's get that set up first. It needs water, which is right there. Okay. Um, I need more belts. Oh, 
Um, let's see here. Let's put full, full, full. Okay, so for right now, let's put the old suit of armor there. That gives us another inventory slot. Um, I don't need that taking up a slot. Should be okay on undergrounds and splitters. Grab more of those. All right, let's go down. I'm gonna take the car. It'll be faster. Actually, I'm gonna take a train. Ouch. All right. Uh, so we were just gonna do this. One sec, guys. Sorry. One sec. Alrighty, so we should have to fix this. And I'm gonna walk the walk here. Looks like I should make a few more. Excellent, All right? All right, so we're gonna set up the sulfur. Again, sulfur needs water and petroleum. So we have petroleum right here. We have a water source right up there. So 
give this a little bit of space for uh, room for growth. So we're going to do three. Let's walk this over here. Oh. Um, these are not plastic, they're sulfur. Change that to sulfur. Boom. All right. Um. Okay, so we just got to get the petroleum over here. Do this. That is a big rock. Holy shnikey. Broke my pickaxe. I've awoken eight months of slumber. In is case too, too good yet? No, it's not. Uh, evidently some very smart people found out that KSP2 was flooding the registry with a bunch of log information. And so the patch that came out mainly addressed that, but no. Uh, can I make any more? I can make a little bit. All right, so. sorry in my opinion i i maybe maybe if they did a hard look at their roadmap and put some dates you know dates are dangerous for developers i get that but it's better they do it than upper management tell them and then they release a shoddy project and then you'll be known as the company that killed ksp2 I mean, they have quite a legacy to lead up to, or uh, live up to. Big shoes to fill. Like, I know a lot of people are looking for Elder Scrolls 6, GTA 6. It's gotta be better than the original. All right, water. You know what? Yeah, so being extra. This doesn't make any sense. All right, so if um, all right, that is water flowing. 
So if I did this right, those th oh, they don't have power. All right, so we're not making sulfur yet. Soon, they got everything they need, right? They sure do. All right, let's um stop destroying trees when we don't have to. All right, um, let's go there, there, there. And then bring this over there. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Why? Oh, there we go. Same thing. Let's uh go there, there, there. Put that right. Um, hmm. Interesting. All right, and then buckets. Uh, you know, it makes sense to do another one now. Uh, all right, this is our water. And then the petroleum. Oops. <gasps> no, 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 no. Uh-oh. Oh, we're having trouble keeping up with the petroleum. That's, that's bad. All right, so that means, do I have more refineries on me? Oh, I thought I did. Oh, I need steel, doggone it. Well, all right. So that's not working because we're not getting enough petroleum. Well, basically we're gonna copy this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's strange. Oh, okay, no, that's still gonna work. Um, right, so then we... All right. This one's gonna be coming straight down to a train. So let's get that built before we go do other refineries. Loading. Uh, oh, excuse me.
What's the purpose of saving the log data? No, that was a bug. There was no purpose for it. So we're going to fall short on many things here. We're going to have to go back and uh, make some stuff. All right. So what I want to do is follow the same naming convention. So let's take the train back. So what we need to do is I need inserters, buckets. So buckets are steel. Okay. I don't need to be carrying sulfur around. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm making inserters. Oh, that's cool. I forgot. Hmm. All right, sweet. So let's grab that. Um, oh, we, we need to make some more uh, refineries. So about, let me say, well, five more. All right, then let's get some more pipes. <clears throat> Do we need any more track? No, but we're going to need, we have 641. Oh, you know what? Let's cancel that. Hang on a sec. Get rid of that. All right, guys, let me take a little bio break, okay? I will be...
Alrighty, and I'm back. You guys are rocking this thing. I almost didn't want to come back. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I almost dropped my soda. That would have been terrible. All right, game. All right, so do we got everything we need? We got the additional to make some more. Um, we've got those, we've got those. We've got the train, that. It's gonna get refueled down there. Um, I think we're good to go. Let me just make sure. All right, let's, um, that's still good. That's full. Um, so let me, I don't, I don't want to have to come all the way back again. So we got to put inserters. Oh, I need, uh, oh, I got those. All right. Um, and we're going to put more refineries out this way. Make more stuff. Hopefully this works. All right, how are we doing here? That stopped because you need what? You need uh, that. Get you some more. That again. All right, uh, everything else is good. Everything else is good, We're good. Um, oh, wait, so I've got steel, copper. All right, so let's pick up some of those just in case. All right, let's hop in the train, go down and see if we can't get this sulfur uh, doing better. So right now it's, it's lacking because we don't have enough refinement, which might actually dig into our oil. Ooh. But it'll limp along, it'll work for now. Let's hop on the train, Get some fuel. out of there grab that up here and finish this crack open another dooski This is gonna be another two to four. So when you, oh, oh, oh man, I forgot to, ooh, that's gonna be painful. Get 
train in place. We'll get the refueling set up also. We're gonna go that, that, slots, and I'm just gonna bring it right along here. Let's make five more of those just in case. All right, so now all, so everything's set up. We just don't have enough petroleum. Now, I didn't check our oil. Oil's holding up. So if we had um, five more of these guys, right? Five, right. So if we go one, two. Ooh, wait a minute. Actually, what if I do this? Hang on. Let's bypass that for a sec. Yeah. So if I, if I get smart, which is not that off, and we want to do five, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we do this, so that way we get all that stuff and make it overlap. Get us that, that. Oh, don't tell me I did this right. No way. All right, sweet. And we just connect the oil. Look at that. Oh, I forgot about this. Darn it. Um, copy. Boom. All right. So that number is going up a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I think that's going to impact the oil. If I add any more, the oils won't be able to, the crude will not be able to keep up. So it was holding steady at like 740. Now it's at eight, almost up to nine. Sometimes. I almost got up to 900. All right, as weak as that is, I think it'll be fine. All right, oh, uh... What did I do wrong? Oh, that's going the wrong way. There we go. All right, so now we got to figure out where the sulfur goes. Now the sulfur actually serves a dual purpose. So we're going to drop up the sulfur here. And I think we're going to drag the sulfur down to about here where we can make sulfuric acid and also pass the sulfur to here. That means I need to move this down. That's going to get too busy. All right. So let's go create the sulfuric. Yeah, look at that. Nice. All right. So eventually I think it's going to catch up. It's holding pretty strong. Maybe I'll add one more refinery. Just, 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 just one more. Because there's 13, right? 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll make a nice even 14. Okay.
All right, and then we go up there, there, there. to take the uh, plastic train I don't know what button I just hit all right let's head up so I can take a little ride And they go slow when they're loaded down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, and then we're going to do another unload. Um, right here. Okay, so we need to do some splitters. <clears throat> That's okay. That's okay. We got time. So what I need to do is move this down here, bring the sulfur down and across, and then we're going to use this area to make sulfuric acid and then pass the sulfur along. So I need to kind of replicate this.
Go over here and go. All right. Uh, some some buckets. Load up with stuff. Hey, Chris! Oh, you, you hopped into a lurk. All right, that's fine. Um, that, that, that. Need those. Right. Let's um copy this. And let's um dig it all up again. That up, that up. Didn't make a copy, right? Okay. Oh, not quite. All right. Got that back. We got to go into build mode here. Um, we got to do some uh, splitters and some undergrounds. So, need transports. Which I can get right here. Make 90. Sounds good. All right, actually. That's 70. All right. Now we need undergrounds. The splitters
So no, we know we want sulfur to come by here. What's in there? Absolutely nothing. Oh, no undergrounds. No, 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 no. Dang it. Got a little last step there. What do we need? We need cogs, all right? And they eat up the... All right, then we can go back to... All right, that's splitters and undergrounds. Now we got belts again. What is your favorite waffle? Golf head, my favorite waffle. Wow. Um, that's tough. Uh, actually, no. Oh yeah, that's my favorite waffle. I made those waffles. Those are my waffles. They were my favorite waffles. 
Until I ate them. <laughs> All right. Um, we're almost ready here. We have a train filling up, but the drop off isn't quite ready. I don't know why I said it like that. That was weird. Red. Yeah, I'm going to stop saying it like that. That's right. We we need a lot of splitters. We got a lot of splitters now. Here we go. There we go. we're splitting them. Excellent. Wait. All right. Then, um, right. We're going to go to four to two. Um, a little bit of a uh, spaghetti here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um, let's bring this over a few. Okay. Wait, was this the... Okay, that goes to that one. Then. Oh, jeez. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so. Oh, all right. I hope everything's done. We're going to call the train. So that one. And we want to uh, add station. That one. We want to empty cargo. All right, let's head it up here. Let's see if this works. Wait. Here it comes. Yay! Woohoo! Going slow, so that means it should have some sulfur on board. Nice. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little choo-choo. Give me your little train. I don't see the train. There's the train. Oh, and it pulls in. Oh, not, not a quite full load. Oh, well. All right. <clears throat> oh, popping the knuckle. Man. Feels good. Yeah. The heck? Hang on a sec, guys. Bear with me for a half a second here, guys. Well, I think this is as good as it's going to get. Um, I'm going to take a ride back real quick. We're going to add a station. That station. Wait. For, oh, okay. Wait for full cargo. Okay. I want to check how the uh, petroleum is doing. Oh, this is a slow train. Wow, it actually keeps track of how many kills. 
I did not know that. How many things it kill? Oh, total kill, not just killing me. All right. So we got 14 refineries plucking away. Um, to check my pollution, staying right there where it needs to be. Excellent. And only two of the uh, chemical plants are really firing up because that tells me that, all right, this is slowly increasing um, and the only way to improve this is to put a pump on this. Oh man, I don't want to do that. If I put a pump on it, it forces what's in here out into the channel. Yeah. I don't think I want to do that. Not yet. All right. All right. So, I mean, yeah, true. It would be better. Uh, hey, Marius, how you doing? I would recommend having a pump uh, at both the entry and the exit. Oh. Oh, to, to drain it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. Let's, um, let's do that. I'm going to try one. I, I, I've never done the, well, I've done the input before, but not to, uh, to, to this extent. Oh, I just made one. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That made it bone dry. Now look at it. the other two are lit up. But that's not gonna last for long, is it? No. Nope, all right. All right, it always scares me to do this here. I don't know why, it just does. I'm wondering how the crude is handling this. Crew? No, crude. 23. Right. Hey, that's weird. I never noticed these showing products finished. Is that from one of the latest patches? I don't remember mods doing that. A lot of statistical information there. All right, let's take the sulfur train back. Actually, yeah, let's take the sulfur train back.
I'm on the express route here. See, now from here, we could pull down and start making uh, sulfuric ba uh, batteries, sulfuric acid, and make batteries. I always used to make them down where the refinery was, but all the resources were right here. So that's a good thing. So if I'm not mistaken, we should probably see some chemicals. Look at that. We have chemical science. I got so excited. Look at that. Uh, all right. So what is the first thing I'm going to work on? Chemical science. Ooh, that would be good to have. Ooh. Um, oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. All right. If I want to get these guys to be faster, it looks like, yes. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Nope. Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, look at that. I'm exicted. Wait, can a robot be excited? <laughs> How does a robot get excited? Does that mean the, the batteries discharge faster? That's all right. Well, Oh, yay. Ugh. Alright guys, I think tomorrow we are going to continue our oil. We're going to switch over to advanced. Um, and with the advanced, it'll, it'll take the same inputs except for water. So it'll take crude and water. And then we'll get light and heavy. And then we take the light, store it and recrack it into petroleum. So hopefully we get more petroleum. That means we can make more sulfur and plastic. That would be cool. So tomorrow, more factorial, more oil, more gamer circle. Yeah. Oops, wrong thing. Credit. That's why I meant to hit credit button. Credit. Guys, thanks for the new follows. Really appreciate that. Uh, LV18. Uh, for some reason, that didn't reset from yesterday. Digital resub yesterday. So, LV18, that was a... 64 month resub appreciate that very much guys i'm out of here you guys have a good one